Right, everybody, settle down, settle down, Thurston. Stop that incessant reading, otherwise I shall send you to the chaplain. Right. Now, how is it, class, that God can be all-powerful and all-loving, and yet at the same time allow suffering on a global and quite frankly horrific scale? Why is it that Jesus seems only to support the rich and the powerful, chaps like your parents, and yet still claim to be the defender of the poor? Well, class, the answer is something we call quantum theology. Now, used correctly around people who have no grasp of physics or logic, quantum theology can be used to physically disprove logic, or even, or even, class, to link fundamental randomness to free will. So for the next 45 minutes, it's quite a complex subject, so it will take the whole lesson to explain, we're going to learn everything about quantum theology. Now, quantum theology is usually used to explain things that can't be justified using cl traditional or, or classical uh, uh, theology. Uh, so let's look at a problem uh, and, and both the classical interpretation and the quantum interpretation. Now, as we know, everything that happens does so because it is in God's plan. However, this plan, which we are all subject to, which is eternal and unchanging, and was written before we were even born, is able to be changed using prayer, usually in order to win musical awards or score goals. Or, as our American cousins might say, uh, uh, goals. God doesn't answer prayers that go against this plan, so it might seem to the cynic that uh, there's, there's little point in praying at all. Uh, since since it only works if it happens to coincide with God's plan anyway. Well, of course, the reason is quantum theology. By adding certain words to the argument, one can win every time and clearly demonstrate the truth of the proposition. The quantum interpretation for the prayer paradox is that fundamentally everything on the plan is entirely random, and it's actually only probabilities which can be interpreted as certainties because actually these things cause quantum probabilities wave functions collapse uh, 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 in a waveform, okay, to disprove logic, which of course means that the Lane-Craig certainty principle then applies. Now, this might sound complicated, but be assured, anyone who disagrees can be dismissed as not really understanding it properly. Perhaps they've never sat through quantum theology uh, uh, lessons. And with the right tone, uh, everybody will uh, believe you. And uh, and that's quantum theology. Um, gosh, that didn't take long at all. Um, right then, uh, Williams, let's see if you can uh, diffract some rocks with your head and, um, and see if you can't prevent some interference uh, with your brain. Thank you, class.